Alright everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina aka The Variety Nerd. Today we are back with another reaction video for NXT UK. We're going to be going through this week's episode which is the episode before next week's episode entitled NXT UK Prelude. That one's just going to be stacked just from like you know the first couple of matches that we got so far and I'm quite excited. Again with regard to that episode next week we've got that one and we've also got night two of takeover so i've got no idea what's going to go down and also i have a dental procedure at least the first round of it it's supposed to take an hour and a half long so i don't know what's going to go down to be completely honest but either way around we'll keep you in the loop so just letting y'all know if that's why there are delays and stuff like that that is why so yeah, we're doing a late night edition this time because, well, I took a couple hour nap and I needed to edit this week's NXT reaction and upload my gaming video for today. But that's okay because, you know, we need to take care of ourselves, you know, mentally and physically and all that, like, because the two kind of interact with each other and so forth, especially during these crazy times of, you know, a lot of uncertainty and all that stuff. So on that note, Let's just dive right into the reaction video, get comfy and cozy, grab your choice of beverage. We've got some decaf coffee here today, slash tonight, and it's 10-something at night. I should probably just get right to it. Also, before we begin, uh, Peacock did indeed upload a lot of other NXT UK episodes. They haven't uploaded any of the takeovers for whatever reason. And so, that being said... They do have the full 2018 and 2019 catalog available. They're missing a few episodes from 2020, and uh, all of the 2021 episodes are, of course, in Peacock as well. So if you're interested in starting to, like, maybe get into it, or, you know, you might want to start from the beginning and that sort of thing, or you're just due for a rewatch here in the States with Peacock, then, yeah, just, just letting you know that exists. They've probably felt my wrath already, so... Anywho, let's just get right to the reaction. Oh my god, look at us actually having, you know, the matches kind of ready to go, right for the entrances. So yeah, I've sort of pulled the match from, like, you know, cagematch.net, I think it is? Yes, .net. So that way we can actually make sure that we've got all the matches this week. So an extra layer of fact-checking and transparency here on the channel. Okay, but can I just say that I just really think that Valkyrie is just really cool, just, just in general. I don't know, there's really, she just has like this cool vibe to her that I can't really describe. And I don't know, I just always enjoy like watching whatever segments or matches that she's in. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Okay, I'm all for it. I, I want to see what Stevie Turner can do here. <laughs> I love how Nigel just casually just mentions that, you know, that anybody could be victim to the roll-up. But I'm just like, that sounds about right. Okay, but that's actually smart though, because... Doesn't Valkyrie have, like, that finisher where she dives off the top rope or something? That is smart to go after the leg, then. Okay, but that was, like, a slightly different pin, right? Because, like, you know, maybe that's a sign, like, you know, oh my god, I need to, like, put this thing away soon. Ooh! Okay, that was a really good counter right there. <laughs> that's what I gotta say. Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going. Alright, overall thoughts? Solid opener, can't complain, it got what it needed to accomplish, accomplished. And again, like I mentioned in the NXT reaction video yesterday, like, this is going to be probably much more of a mellow or just more laid-back sort of reaction, right? Because it is kind of the go-home sort of episode of the special for next week. So yeah, there's that. Okay, so it looks like we're getting something with A-Kid here. Oh, where, where has this dude been? That's what I'm trying to figure out. It's been a little bit. Anonymous kid. Okay, I feel like I finally got that answer because I'm like, what does that stand for? I feel like I probably could have just done a quick Google search and I would have gotten something, but here we are. Look, the fact that we're either going to get A Kid versus Noam Dar or A Kid versus Tyler Bate, round two, pun intended, just give me either one of those matches, please. That would be great. I mean, yeah, we're going to get either one of those two matches no matter what, but just give me those matches at some point. Okay, but I really like this, I really like this friendship that, you know, Jack Stars and Piper Niven have. I'm all for it. <laughs> it's like, buddy, focus. Just, just focus one thing at a time. We, we need, I, I, I feel like in general, we all could use somebody like Piper Niven, like, to just sort of give us that slight nudge every now and then that we need, you know, in terms of encouragement. I'm all for it. 
I'm really confused as to why this filter is on this video, though. Like, I'm really confused. Maybe it's just, you know, showing his new aggressive side. I have no idea. But I enjoyed it for what it was, and I want to see where that team is going to go, to be completely honest. Just because it, it, it's, it's somewhat wholesome. I don't know how else to word it. Oh god, I forgot all about the sky. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be completely honest here. So I didn't know this dude was being either billed from or is from Germany or whatever, but I'm all for it. Okay, I was really going to be like, Nigel, what are you talking about? Where did the Joker and Berlin kind of tangle up together? <laughs> I got so confused for a second. But fun fact, I actually know just a little bit of German, not enough to carry on a conversation or anything, but I took a year of German back when I was getting my bachelor's degree. So that was, what, a good five and a half, six years ago? Something like that, but I've sort of tried to keep on, keep up on it over time. You know, even when they have these, like, shorter matches or whatever that you know where, you know, where it's going and you can tell that, you know, somebody's gonna win in particular, like, in this matchup here, like, I like how even the people that they're going up against get a little bit of a fair shake and, you know, it, it kind of highlights them a little bit and I like how they handle those sorts of matches because they need to happen every now and then to build people up and so forth so uh, the only time that my neck ever goes that way is if I sleep on it the wrong way and considering I'm, I'm, I'm in my mid-20s now like I feel that for some for a couple of days <laughs> okay that was a really cool like springboard elbow thing <laughs> even the referees like in the corner just like did this just now and I'm like yeah me too ref me too what kind of- what was that? He just did like this corkscrew thing to avoid that maneuver right there. C can we talk about that first? How? Alright, well that match just ended. Uh, same thing as the last match, it was short, sweet, and to the point. It, it accomplished what it needed to accomplish. Nothing bad about it, nothing like super standout-ish as well. So, yeah, those, those are my thoughts on that. Not bad. Uh, it was good. I mean, this does imply that Walter is retaining on night one of TakeOver, right? Is this an interview or a contract signing? I know it's a sit-down, but it's like... I, I was about to say, like, I don't think this dude is kind of like anybody else that Walter has faced, just, just in general. Like, I don't... I, I can't honestly decide who's going to win this match. I really can't. I mean, only time's going to tell, but yeah. I mean, to be fair, Walter's got to go through Champa first at TakeOver, so, I mean, if we're thinking about it in the canon storyline timeline thing, like, that, th Champa's not easy to put down, like, we'll put it that way. So there's going to be some wear and tear, probably, just going into it logically speaking. Probably. Perhaps. I, I wouldn't want to mess with either one of these two, okay? Okay, What what's going on here? Just as I figured. Okay, now we can remove the question mark, because I thought I saw one of the coffees right there. I was so confused. I'm like, who are you people? Can, can we just talk about the production quality in general with these segments? Like, this one actually just looks very just cool. I don't know how else to word it. I, 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 I enjoy watching Gallows too, but I'm just really confused as to what we just saw there. <laughs> okay, but I just really enjoy watching Kaylee Ray just doing whatever, whether that's a promo or a match. I just, she's just fantastic. Hey, you know what? I, you've got to give credit where credit is due, though. She just crushed it. Those two crushed it in their match together a couple weeks back. Ooh, th that, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I want to see what happens here. I like how they're adding layers in the women's division, like with their characters and stuff, so I'm all for it. I really am. Put all four of them in a match at some point. That would be quite swell. Please, please do so. <laughs> that is all. That's all I want. Just throw all four of these fine folks into a uh, match. Okay, so I never know what to call these sort of like hype package things or whatever. <laughs> like when I go into label it and my uh, OBS stuff. So we're just going to roll with it. This should be quite an interesting match. <laughs> Why is Shaw Samuel still just like screaming at everybody? <laughs> I mean, we had to retreat into the corner a little bit here last week. <laughs> The fact that both of them have somebody in their corner, I want to see what happens. And I also want to see a match between those two as well, so. 
Although, to be fair, I feel like there's going to be some shenanigans involved in that match next week. I can't pinpoint how or why, but we're calling it now. But hey, we didn't miss anything this week. Like, we, we didn't get a couple of little chunks here and there that were like maybe 30 seconds long at most. So I can't pinpoint why, but I just really enjoy Pretty Deadly. I, I can't pinpoint why or how. It, it just something about their vibe I really enjoy. Just They always look like they're having a good time, I think, and I'm all for it. Like They look like they're always have, just having a good time, but they can get the job done. And I think that's a healthy balance, right? Right. Okay, but I really like this mood lighting that they, get, that they always have going on with these like championship defenses. I'm all for it. And it's like, I know it's not a new thing because we did have a championship match to react to just, you know, two weeks ago. But yeah, I just like the lighting. It's mood lighting. I, I just, to be completely honest, I just don't see Pretty Deadly losing. Just, just given the slight tension with like... Williams and Jordan there, like, I just, I just don't see it. I, I don't see it, and I don't see Pretty Deadly losing so soon. Hey, he's got a 10 count to get back inside the ring. That's, that's fair. I always laugh whenever they talk about height advantages because I'm just sitting here like, I'm 4'11". Like, almost everybody is taller than me, so I, I, I very rarely have the height advantage. So I, I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I'm overthinking this crap. Oh. He just, like, shoved him in midair just like that. Ooh, that was very smooth. I, I gotta agree, that double team was very smooth. I was gonna say, why is he just going at it by himself? But I guess, okay. The, the, okay, the, now they're working together. <laughs> I was really confused for a second. Okay, Williams and Jordan are not looking good whatsoever right now. I'm, I'm all for frequent tags, just in general in tag team wrestling, but, you know, slow it down a little bit, please. <laughs> Okay, that was a really cool double team right there. That was a very cool move. And again, if I haven't really been like reacting a whole ton to this match, it's because one, it's late. And two, like, again, like I mentioned earlier in this video, it's going to be a much more chill reaction because it's technically the go home before the special next week. So it's meant to be kind of chill. Oh, oh, that was sneaky. That was sneaky. Okay, but is Kenny Williams ever going to get into this match? Okay, now he did. <laughs> I was going to say, the dude's been, like, just wanting to bolt right on in there this entire match, practically. I mean, in general, I would say he's the difference maker because he's not afraid to get a little crafty to get a win. What was that? Okay, whatever we just saw, that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. I don't know what we just saw right there, but that was awesome. That was close. That was very close. Not sure if I agree with this ad placement, but it could be a lot worse. <gasps> Why'd they put an ad there if there's only like four minutes left? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just let us get through the match. I, I still will never let that go when, when we had that ad like two minutes and 15 seconds into that first reaction video that we had. That was something, but this one might be up there. Oh, I don't know, y'all. He's kind of outnumbered right here. Oh, god dang it! The freaking referee is down! Why Why is he going for the tag team titles? Oh, the disconnect is here. It's a championship match! Do whatever it takes to win the titles! That's interesting, but I'm not super surprised given how their relationship has gone the past so many weeks. I, I'm interested to see where all this is going to go. I mean, you could say that it's luck that they won, but, I mean, Pretty Deadly was kind of living up to their name, essentially, in this matchup. So, I mean, they got the job done, but I I'm interested to see where all this is going. I really am. All right, so overall thoughts. Uh, I enjoyed the episode. Again, it wasn't like, you know... It was more on the tamer side of things because we have the special coming up next week. Um... Overall, I enjoyed it. I thought we had some character development. It was more of a character development episode from what it felt like to me. Just sort of setting up the foundation, introducing people and all that stuff. And just setting things up, really. Uh, but I enjoyed it for what it was. Not bad. 
nothing nothing really stood out maybe until the ending but even then i feel like we kind of saw that like heel turn kind of coming for a little bit or at least i thought so anyway but i enjoyed it for what it was and you know what i there were there wasn't anything bad about it which you know that's that's always a positive right right um, but I'm very interested to see where the special is going to go next week. So on that note, thank you all for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, do all that fun stuff here on the channel. Hit the subscribe button and make sure that notifications are indeed turned on. I still haven't really formulated when or how anything's going to be uploaded during Mania Week next week because, again, I am going in for some dental work and I don't know how I'm going to react to it slash how I'm going to be feeling. So there's that. But anywho, thanks so much for all the love and support for these reaction videos and for the channel as a whole. And I will see you all around later. Bye everyone.